Hey everyone! I'm Alfred, welcome back to New Vegas Hardcore! Um, even though I said I would go back and do some stuff off camera. I, uh, I lied. I didn't go do anything. I was honestly just very excited to get back in and play some more. Um, ammo won't be really hard to find, but I'm also going to get it from doing these quests, so that's pretty cool. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry. Sure. Stop wasting time. Well, let's waste some time now. Nice. So the thing that's weird about this place is that most of the blood is fresh. As opposed to being ancient, uh, decrepit old blood. Such as it were. God, they're so skinny, they're hard to hit. Jeez. Maybe I should just switch to, uh, you know, save my ammo. That's all good. Uh, hmm. That's pretty good. Those things sell decently well. Yeah, just pound on him. I don't like the way his shoulders pulsate. Maybe I should get a better melee weapon. Oh, they speak. Man, that arm has been nothing but problems for me. Nope, get back down there. No one said you could get up. Oh boy. Oh, glue. Come now, come now. Have a sense of proportion, please. Oh, wow. A lot of them will take away your health pretty quick.
Um, do some of those. I think this is the move. God damn it, my arm. Am I legitimately dry? Alright, well. All I have are 22s. Wow. Whoops. Okay, that's what I wanted. Holy moly. All right. Big metal staircase. All right, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. You got it. Mystery man. God, but are you ugly? <laughs> Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Yeah, I guess I'll be going. Stay away from me. Say, so this is a man who's convinced himself he's a ghoul. That's one of those wonderful Fallout characters that I just adore. Just fucking weird characters, you know? Hey, I don't speak with outsiders. Smooth skins especially. Talk to our leader. Jason Blair. Perfect. Jason will deliver us from the pain of this world. Who sees me? Was there a security camera somewhere? Hey. Jason will lead us to the far beyond. <laughs> Whatever. Boy, I'm going to need to buy some ammunition. Shoot. That, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay. Oh, it's very easy. Oh, ring a ding ding. Look at that. <laughs> Batten down those hatches. Yeah, as I've mentioned, I love hawking cigarettes. Damn. Like, they're so light, and they cost so much. So just finding them for free is pretty smoking. All right. And we've padded the back around here. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I think that's pretty much most of everything in here. Hey there. <laughs> hey to you too, man. Anybody there? Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright. That's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. Uh, what's the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I'll take care of them. Praise as soon as the underground has been rid of... Yeah, 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 sure. Just jumpy. Watch out! Come on! Who exactly... What's the deal over here? Come on! Watch out! Oh, is it me? Oh hey man, I don't know if you know, I'm like the deliverer or whatever. This is probably the one who saw me steal things. Whatever. Not my problem now. Let's go down to the basement then. They're gonna feel so salty when I deliver them and shit. So yeah. We obviously know that the demons are just nightkin on account of having tussled with them before. Gotcha 
Hey, you scared me, dude. Don't do that. Hey, all right. Oh, the armor, like, stacked. Weird. All right. <laughs> uh, nine pounds. I'll take it for now at least. It'll be nice to have a weapon that I can reliably keep up and doesn't take ammunition. What's that? Hello? Also, using melee weapons means that I'm a little quieter than normal. Okay, so this is the start point. I went this way. We go down. Their uh, resistance to being stunned is not as uh, high as I would have suspected. In fact, it's really quite low. You're mine. Where are you at? Oh, Flamer, huh? Oh, and you're a Nikon Jailer as well. Oh, wow. You're not so bad. God. Um, beep, 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 beep. <gasps> oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's not worth it. Like, those guns aren't particularly great to begin with. And I also don't have a spec for them. Oh, he fell out of here. That's kind of funny. Come on, bring me more Nightkin. I honestly really like fighting Nightkin now that I know that they uh, they just topple over with this stuff. It feels good to fight them. It feels good to take back some of the wasteland. Also, in case it isn't clear, um, the Vault 13's revenge thing is... Because, uh, while that gun is a gun from Fallout 1, or maybe it's Fallout 2, actually. But anyway, it's uh, for killing enemies notorious in Fallout 1 and 2, with uh, weapons notorious from Fallout 1 and 2. I've really got to cut it out. <laughs> Just such a menace. Just picking up everything, putting down nothing. I'm not going to need all these conductors. I 
I wish you could just like sell things immediately. I know that that's like super busted, but like I love that. One of the best abilities in um, Skyrim is that you summon this little merchant. And you can always summon him. Do you? God damn it, my arm again. All right, there we go. And there you are. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Why do they sometimes just warg? Food. Thank you. Stealth boy. I'm trying to take only things that are like way more bang for my buck. Whoops. Well, those are. Okay, what did I pick up? I have to have picked up something really bad. Those aren't that worth it. Not worth it. How did I pick up? Nine pounds of glue. Turpentine's good. See, that's really expensive, but it is so worth it to carry around. Damn, really? Um, P P P P P. Let's see if we can't repair. Cool, cool. Ah, oh, what the hell. You, like, actually scared me, dude. Huh. 
<sighs> oh, brother, come on. I have a perk now? Jesus. Alright. Can I get anything out of you? Nope. Okay, we made our way back around to here then. Cool. says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. So there is a way to uh, talk to Davidson completely like just talk it out with him. However, I'm not interested. Oh, come on. Wow. He, he cleaned my clock. Where did I save? Oh god, no, where did I save? Please. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Alright. Do it old style then. Getting kind of hungry. Probably should have had a snack. Why don't we actually uh, speed this process up a little bit, huh? Why aren't those hurting them? I'm throwing them like into their nuts. Oh man, now we got all this. This is a... Oh, brother. This is nothing but problematic. So yeah, it looks like that armor is just bugged and it'll just like stick on top of the other armor. Not that big of a deal. Okay, this seems to be working out for me.
The issue is, is that he's still invisible, so I can't even figure out where the head is to headshot him. There we go. Okay. Now where's your head? Actually, I'm hurt. By now, you... So we're good, right? Um, actually, no. By now, you wouldn't have seen it. But coming up, I'm going to be playing uh, Far Cry Primal. And killing animals in that game is actually really nice because they'll bleed out like they would in real life. Nice. Oh, these both use both of those, huh? I have no idea where these dudes even are. So he's coming up. Okay, I can kind of see where he is. Okay, I think that's one down. Okay, that's one now. He had dropped his weapon. Weird. Can I vats it? <laughs> I can, but it does nothing. Alright, cool. Now let's keep going. Yes, there is a way to talk it out with um, Tiny in here. I just don't have an interest in doing so. I see you, human. Come on. Does my limb keep getting crippled because I keep punching things? Because if so, then it's my fault and that's weird, but also like, what the hell, right? I'm taking this away from you. Try me, motherfucker. All right. 
I think this is the loot room, isn't it? Camera's not worth it. Paint gun's not worth it. Fish and batteries are worth it. Six caps a pound, that's not actually great. Whereas that one is like more than 10 caps a pound. Oh, big stretch. Urgh. Big horn. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Well, better at least. Cool. And now we just have to find what's his face. Davidson, I think his name is. That leads down to the jail. There wasn't really anything worthwhile down there. I gotta loop around this. This is the food room, right. I don't really need those that much. Oh boy, here we go. All right, I've got a plan. And it only consists of me moving my goalposts a little bit. Okay. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I dropped it too close to... I dropped it too close to the Nightkin, and it merged with his invisibility. That's stupid. That shouldn't happen. Okay. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Because that gun's unique. Oh, actually, while we're here, I can repair these. Nice. Perfect. Twenty-six pounds, man. Honestly, how so very dare they?
I am uninterested in diplomacy. That was pretty fantastic. Okay. Chupa Simpack. Oh my god, that is really dangerous. Get stunned, please, sir. Davidson, I need you to fall over. Yes, yes. Man, he's just not stunning, huh? There we go. So this is Davidson's friend, Antler. Um, we don't need to worry about that right now. The reason that Davidson and his pals are here is because they want all the stealth boys available. And that would be like, that would be fine. But the issue is that there are no stealth boys here. It's possible that if you go down here, this is a whole other part of the dungeon. Going down there, you'll discover a whole bunch of traps, more loot, and some other things. But primarily, uh, a thing that tells you the stealth boys have all been moved to somewhere else. Naturally, this is all that Davidson wanted, so telling him that will just make him leave. Fuck. Oh, really? There we go. So yeah, it's not too big of a problem. Uh, there's also a... Um... That's weird. Oh, Jesus. Spent a lot of this LP over encumbered. Okay, it's going to be like this then, huh? Okay, what is up with my vision? Weapon binding. I guess I can drop that. Oh my god, no, I can't. I can drop this. Thank you, sir. And I guess I've just lost my NCR armor again. 
Oh, man. I really needed that. I spent so much time trying to get it. Shoot. Ugh. I was taking risks. Whatever. I guess we've just declared war on the NCR then by not having the right clothes. Go bother. Guess I'll be going. Stairs, right? Where are you, Jason? Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. So what we're going to do is go sell all the shit that I stole. Um, as to where that is, I'm thinking Novak. I might be able to pick up Boone there. He might also tell me to eat shit because I'm not wearing the right pants, but... So salty, that line. So salty about that. I can't leave them behind. It's too worth it. That can probably go, though. I'm trying to think of what... um. What's up, guys? All right, now let's make our way to Novak. What do you mean enemies are nearby? Oh, Jesus. There we go. Okay, what is it now? God.
Oh, brother. Let's go to Novak. Urgh. Welcome back. Sure thing. Have a look. Just notice, was that a little thing that said I killed her? Uh, boy. Okay. I don't think I need. Oh, I might need twelve point sevens. Okay. Three fifty seven. Twenty gauge. All right. <laughs> he still has all the shit that I gave him. Caravan shotgun. Uh, oh, yeah. She had it coming. Lord Almighty, I can't for the life of me imagine her doing anything that'd make someone want to kill her. Not that I'm saying you're a liar, of course. I'm just surprised is all. Will there be anything else? Come back soon now. <laughs> Unflappable. All right. Perfect. Well, let's put another one on there. There we go. Now we're a little more ready. Let's see if we can't find Boone again, actually. Well, bye. God, my limbs are all still crippled as well. Wait, Boone has a house, doesn't he? Hello, Pack Brahmin. Nice. OK, 
Can I go in here and steal everything now, by the way? Why would she stalk her house with things that are all like they came busted? I mean, that's just me complaining about Fallout. Again. Hey. She hasn't paid me anything yet. What can I do for you? That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? All right, I'll just... Should I be worried? All right. What can I do for you? All right. I think that has to happen. Oh. A few of those should help, though. Oh, yeah, I've got all these. I still really do love the uh, modern Fallout system of buying and selling things. Give me a shout if you. Okay, limbs are all full. It's about damn time. I think I need to put my medicine up next. I told you I wouldn't work again. Oh. Shit. Right. I've lost all respect for you. Keep walking. I've lost all respect for you. <laughs> Whoops. Forgot about that. Minor details. I wonder how hard it would be to do dead money right now. Although, again, I should do Old World Blues first. Maybe that's what I'll do. The thing about, like, um, just going to the Mojave Strait is that, like, there's just so much shit everywhere, you know? Like, I'm going to get distracted. I have been getting distracted. I've, I am all over the place. I've been all over the place. It's a problem, you know? Yeah, maybe I should just, like, go all out against the NCR. I didn't intend to side with him, like, fully to begin with. Hey, I still got Boone's hat, though. <laughs> Sucker. All right, I'll get to the end of this part of it and then I'll call the episode.
Blue moon. Of course, I gotta find my dumb way around here again. Being stupid certainly doesn't help. Is it... This leads to the jails, right? Yeah, it, uh... It, uh... Yeah, one of the things about New Vegas that, like is simultaneously to and against the game's credit. It's so much more broad than Fallout 3. And most of the other Fallouts, for that matter. And so, like, you can really just go and get lost if you want to. But that means that you can just go and get lost if you want to. But also if you don't want to. Like, I've been trying pretty fastidiously to stay on the main path. Just one thing leads to another. And, like, not all of that is the game's fault. Um, but, like, a lot of people, when playing this game, just didn't know that their actions would have that significant and widespread of consequences. They were just like, oh, wait, I shot those guys so they don't like... That's... Huh, you know? It was just new for them. Just because, like... Bethesda is not as good about that. At least anymore. Alright, so now we're kind of, we're finally back to here. So yeah, there's a lot of just shit scattered around everywhere. I'm trying to only take the expansive stuff. Usually anything that is uh, 10 caps to a pound is worth it to me. Though it'll get severely knocked down a peg if uh, that doesn't happen. Also, I believe it bears mentioning that if I were to just shoot everyone, that would count as the quest being completed. I mean, depending on the quest, it might, you know, call it a failure. But, uh, it gets it out of my quest book, and you know what? To me, that counts. Which is, again, that one is really to the game's credit. Because, like, if you just want out of something, all you need is superior firepower. There's always yes, man, you know? I wish it was easier to make ammo. It just cheeses me off a little bit how, um... Jason. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. There is so we'll do that next time. But while we're here. Evening. 
Hold still, Jason. Cut it out, will ya? Oh. Hey. Uh, I don't know where he went. So yeah, quest failed. Where did Jason Bright go? Does that happen every time? Evening. What was that for? So I wanted to talk about... Yeah, Jason Bright carries nothing. He's just wearing this cheap suit. Neat, huh? Anyway. But yeah, uh, that's Fallout New Vegas, everyone. Thanks for coming by to say hey. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I've been Alfred. Have a good day.